recall a few years back the letters WWJD, What Would Jesus Do? In Matthew 12, 14 to 21, it tells us what Jesus would do. Most of today's verses are of a prophecy from Isaiah, who starts with, Here is my servant, whom I have chosen, the one I love, in whom I delight. These are very similar words that God spoke as Jesus came up out of the water at his baptism. Isaiah continues, I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. God's kingdom isn't like earthly kingdoms, justice by force of arms and military victory. The weak and vulnerable come off worst. God does things the other way up. Recall the Beatitudes. What would Jesus do? He will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break. A smouldering wick he will not snuff out. He will lead justice to the nations. We have seen some protests in our country of late and all over the world. Some peaceful, others not. In Jesus there is the quiet, strong serenity of someone who sees to conquer by love and not by anger or conflict or bitter disagreement of words. Jesus did not come to extinguish the weak flame, but nurse it back to stronger light. Those who are broken, he will restore. He will not crush. He will bring love, healing and restoration. He came to encourage, not discourage. Jesus is the servant king, God's beloved, God's heart's delight. Let us follow him and love and encourage others.